Collision with Deborah Norville. Hello, everybody, and thank you for joining us. The sentencing of former Empire star Jesse Smollett had all the drama of the hoax that landed him in jail. And this morning, he woke up inside the Cook County Jail where he'll be spending the next several months for falsely claiming that he was the victim of an attack. Amber Cagliano and what we've learned about his time behind bars. I am not suicidal. I am not suicidal. And I'm innocent. And with that furious protest, Jussie Smollett was taken away to the booking room where his mugshot was taken. Notice the tie he wore in court was gone. Then he spent his first night behind bars. This is the facility where the former Empire star is doing time. The infamous Cook County Jail in Chicago. There is no question that someone could seek to exploit or make a name for themselves by attacking him. In a handwritten order, the judge put Smollett in protective custody after a request from the actor's attorneys. In a statement to Inside Edition, a jail spokesman says Smollett is housed in his own cell, which is monitored by security cameras and by an officer. Mr. Smollett is under direct observation at all times. Before his sentencing yesterday for faking a hate crime, Smollett's 92-year-old grandmother, Molly, asked the judge for clemency. I ask you, the judge, not to send him to prison. If you do, send me along with him, okay? But what Smollett got from Judge James Lynn was a blistering 30-minute rebuke. He's just a charlatan pretending to be a victim of a hate crime. You are actually throwing a national pity party for yourself. You've been lying and lying and lying about this case. Then the judge handed down his sentence. You will spend the first 150 days of your sentence in the Cook County Jail. And that will start today, right here, right now. When it was Smollett's turn, he spoke with everything he had. I'm not suicidal. <laughs> okay, I'm not suicidal. Okay, I am not suicidal. I am innocent, and I'm not suicidal. If I did this, then it means that I stuck my fist in the fears of black Americans in this country for over 400 years, and the fears of the LGBTQ community. Was he talking about Jeffrey Epstein, who was found dead in his cell in 2019 of an apparent suicide under circumstances that remain mysterious? I am not suicidal, and if anything happens to me when I go in there, I did not do it to myself. As Smollett was led away, he wasn't finished. I am not suicidal, and I am innocent. His brother blasted the sentence. He does not deserve this. He was attacked. Chicago Mayor Lori Lightfoot says the sentencing should send a clear message to everyone in the city of Chicago that false claims and allegations will not be tolerated. But Cook County State's Attorney Kim Fox, whose office dropped the charges against Smollett before the appointment of a special prosecutor, called the case a kangaroo prosecution. We spoke to Gloria Rodriguez, lawyer for the two brothers who Smollett paid to stage the attack, who witnessed Smollett's outburst. As I was watching it, I was, I think, shocked along with everyone else as to what instigated him saying that. It's very much open to interpretation. I am not suicidal, and I'm innocent. Although Smollett was sentenced to 150 days in jail, he's expected to serve only half of that, assuming time off for good behavior. He also faces 30 months probation, a $25,000 fine, and he's been ordered to repay the city of Chicago $120,000 for the cost of the investigation.